what we're going to do is place a temporary dimension in our cross section. So I have a dynamic cross section view opened, and I'm going to come up to the dynamic sections under the corridors, and I'm going to show place dimension. I'm going to select the cross section view, and then I'm just going to display the width from our center line to our edge of pavement, and then place the height. Now, uh, alternately, we can do this in the cross section viewer. Right click, and do a hard right click, and do a place temporary dimension line, uh, and then it already automatically picks up our cross section view. So we're going to do one on the other side as well. The text of the dimension is hard coded. It is relative to the size of our view window. So if I grab this view window and I expand it, you'll notice that the text gets larger, the larger that this view is. Okay, And as we go down, it shrinks down. So in order to have a sizable text that you can read, you're going to have to adjust the view. Now, these temporary dimensions hold true through every dynamic section. So they're dimension lines that are going to hold to the points that we've snapped to. If we want to remove those, we can just do either a right click and we can remove all temporary dimensions or we can come up to the dynamic sections and we can remove temporary dimensions and select our view and that will remove the temporary dimensions of our dynamic sections.